Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be attempting the Silent Assassin suit only on Master Difficulty. For this one we need to start either at the bus stop or the radio shack in order for us to have our suit. You don't need to bring along anything, maybe a lockpick, that might make things nice and easy, but honestly you should have your lockpick with you all the time anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to our first target. He is, I'm terrible with the, with the target's names. We're just going to call him Agent Blue. So we'll head to Agent Blue. He is the one standing under the crane right at the start here. You can use the crane accident if you want. Could be, could be nice and fun. But I am just going to make it nice and safe and we're just going to take him out easily. This is such a big map. And having the five targets just takes takes such a long time. Oh, we're gonna use some fiber wire on him, are we? I don't often use the fiber wire, so it's quite this is this is fun. We'll just we'll just pop his body in these shrubs so he's not found. Agent Tams, I'm not entirely sure if because when you get your five targets, the other five targets leave the map. We've lost one. And I'm not Learn sure if they can spot the bodies or not, or if they just run past them. So we're going to head to our next target, Agent Green. You climb up these building, the side of this building, and up this ladder. He's going to be wandering back and forth on the roof, overlooking the kind of chill out juice area. We'll take out this guy. Make sure you pick up his gun and all, everything that he drops because it will create a distraction for our target and we don't want that. There is a crate in here so we're just going to pop his body in the crate. Keep things nice and clean. We just hug this wall. Our target's at the other end of this walkway so we're just going to wait for him to come back to us. Stop, have a little bit of a chat. To be honest, you can just walk Stop up talking. to him and shoot Focus him. Even if him. he sees you, once you kill him, you retain your silent assassin anyway. So, yeah, we can just skip all that. Agent Green. I just, huh, huh. I just chose a random color. The night takes rook. Whew. That's another one down. All right, so if we head Not back him turn this to the little us. area that we came into here, if you jump down these crates, just be aware. Take a big loop around this truck because there is a camera. We're on master difficulty, so there's lots of cameras about. So we'll take that out. Use our lock pick. And we are going to subdue hey. this driver, the food delivery yeah, guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't leave his body here because it will be spotted. So we'll just dispose of it. Don't accidentally pop on his disguise. I did that, and that was fun. But he is going to drop a key. So we'll grab this rat poison, and we'll grab the key. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use the rat poison on the food in this moped. So if we ring the bell, that's going to make the food delivery, or the guy who ordered the food, come and grab it. We'll poison it, and then we just hide. One of the bikers will eventually come out and grab the food. And so now we can just follow him in. There is a camera in here. And if you shoot the camera while he's too close to it, he actually drops the food. So we can't we can't be having that. 
because we need someone to eat it. So just wait for him to wander away. We'll take out that camera. And now we can just wait here. And the our target is now down in the down the hallway in front of us. We just need to wait for him to head over to the food. To that plate of, of yummy food there and take a big munch. Here he comes. So all of our targets are enforcers. So it doesn't matter what disguise you're wearing. We're going for a suit only so everyone's an enforcer, but yeah. Just makes it nice and easy to spot your targets. So he's going to take a munch. He's going to get sick. And the bathroom is the door that we can see just to our left. There he is. No, oh, he's feeling. He's got a sore tummy. So you can just take him out however you want. And you can just leave his body here. It won't be found. All right. Moving on to our next target. If you head up these stairs. There are two motorcycle gang members standing on the other side of this the door, and they this have eagle happening. vision. As soon as you walk through the door, you are spotted. So if you change cover to the other side of the door, we can then sneak into behind the crates and then make a dash across the hallway. I just waited here to see if they moved, but they don't. See how quickly they started to see me? So if you crouch in behind these crates, and now we're just going to run across. I tried to make a distraction here, but it didn't work. You yeah, see, so look how quickly that... I thought they were going to come and investigate, so I'm going to jump into the crate, but don't need to. So if you just hug this wall, we can pull our target over the balcony or over this, through this window, but unfortunately there's somebody watching. So what we need to do is just wait. I didn't wait long enough. Usually you can do it without them spotting you. Make sure you grab that gun, because they will come around and investigate, and then you will be found. So just pop his body in here. Oh, he's still alive. When you do that subdue over a over a over an object, you don't actually kill them. So just make sure you do that. Drop the gun. Are you there, Agent Rose? Report. And now we're going to head to our last target. Now these guys are animals. They do not move That's for any distraction My whatsoever. God, this is an embarrassment. How do you expect to look each other in the eyes after this? Look at that. Like absolute Shit. monsters. Man, you can't distract us. We're we're here to guard everything. So we just need to wait. He's going to turn, and we can make that dash across the hallway like we did last time. Go. Oh, she's tight. But now what we're going to do is head to our final target. Now this is the target with the sniper rifle. Again, sneaking along here, there is a guard who has got the eyes of a hawk. He will just, he'll just spot you so quickly. So just keep crouched and keep running and you'll be fine. Now, what we want to do here is just wait. The, when you create the distraction, the target that's closest to you will be distracted. So this time unfortunately our target didn't come but we can just corner subdue this guy and now we've got a free a free pass at the sniper so we'll just take him out and you, again you can leave his body here don't need to worry about that but now we need to make our way to an exit so we're going to backtrack all the way back to the Tremaine, food vendor's moped and we're going to use that exit. 
So I'm just going to let this play out. So guys, like always, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really appreciate it. I'm having so much fun with Berlin. It's, it's an absolute blast. I really like what they've done with Hitman 3 and they've just made it, oh, they've just made it so much better. So yeah, if you're new here, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the other challenges as we make our, make our way through this final installment of Hitman. And we'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.